Shani and welcome back to my channel, The Tidy Trend. What a journey the past two months has seriously been. If you haven't already done so, watch my previous video, My Breast Implant Illness Journey, and you will understand what my health was like and all the symptoms that I was experiencing leading up until my explant. Since having them removed, I am actually now a true believer in BII, breast implant illness. Just think about it, we put these foreign objects into our body. Our body is trying to push them out. It's like getting a splinter in your finger. If you get a splinter, your body's gonna force and push it out. Your body can't force to push these out. They are sewn in. So it's gonna react in all different ways to try and tell you something is wrong, get these out of me. But today I'm gonna to share with you how my surgery went and how the healing journey is going. So if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hi, today's day five post-surgery. I'm traveling okay just back in bed at the moment because I've overdone it and hurt my back. The operation went really well. It was five hours long. We did a full explant plus capsulectomy. The implants, the capsules both came out really inflamed. My right side was adhered to my ribs. So that took a little bit longer because they had to do some extra scraping. My right side does definitely feel a little bit more sore and stiff compared to my left. I'm now in my post-surgery bras for six weeks, morning and night that I picked up from Kmart, two for $20. I still have my drains on either side. I gotta keep them in until I'm draining less than 30 mils for two days. So I'm thinking maybe another two or three days for those. They can get a little bit uncomfortable. I've got this really big bruise on my arm, if you can see. Oh, that's where the cannula went in. Apart from that, pain-wise, I've been traveling really good. It's been manageable. today's day 10 post-operation I have had a few setbacks I have actually dislocated one of my upper ribs three days post surgery so I've been to physios and to the musculoskeletal to get it popped back in this morning it's very sore it's very tender it's pushed me back a little bit I need to stop doing my exercises and everything and just rest. I stayed in hospital for three nights. I had my drains in for a total of seven days. I have been really emotional. I've stopped all my strong drugs because I find they were making me a little bit loopy. So day three, day four was just an emotional mess. Couldn't stop crying. I do know that the detox is gonna come in waves. I didn't realize it was gonna be this hard. I'm just taking it easy. I've just been taking, having green tea to try and flush everything out. I have noticed that there is improvement. My eyes are a lot whiter. Like when I woke up, I couldn't stop looking in the mirror on how bright and open my eyes were. So I'll give it a few more weeks and we'll see what other symptoms of mine have gone down. Today's probably the day that I have the most amount of energy. Still got little bandages on where my drains came out of. I'm gonna keep them on a few more days just because they've got sterry strips on them instead of the stitches. I'm gonna try and get out and go for a little walk today as it's looking quite sunny and I feel that I'm up for it. My rib stayed in place overnight, so I am feeling a lot better. My incisions here are still going really good. I'll put a photo up now. 
The top picture is prior to my operation, as you can all see. And the bottom one is four days post-op. Mind you, I still have the taping over my incisions at this point. One other thing that I didn't mention. So post-op, when the surgeon came in, my surgeon, by the way, is Dr. Ava Naji. I'll put that on the screen now. She is wonderful, like wonderful. She operates out of two hospitals, so the Mater in North Sydney or North Shore Private. She did mention to me that I did come back positive to ANA antibodies. We aren't gonna test for any autoimmune diseases. We're gonna give it a few more months down the track and test again just to see if the implants were the main cause of that positive blood test. Today I'm heading down to Sydney for my post-surgery appointment. It's been two and a half weeks since my operation. My mum's taking me down. We get to remove the tape today. I'm so excited. I get, it's my first time I'm going to actually be able to have a look at the scarring underneath. It's gone right across. So when I first put them in, the scar was only maybe an inch now it's the full side like right under each breast i am feeling pretty good my energy has definitely come back the last few days i've been taking a few slow walks around the block we've just gone through the tunnel now i am now sleeping on my back which i was sleeping propped up for the first few days I can now also sleep on either side. The right side's still a little bit tender and sore. I'm going to the physio still about once a week to get more range of movement in my arms. I can now lift my arms above my head. I'm washing my hair as before. I wasn't allowed to lift them above my shoulders. I still can't lift anything heavier than two kilos for six weeks. My ribs are feeling a lot better. I will keep you guys posted and let you know what the scarring is gonna look like. So yesterday my appointment went really well. My surgeon was so happy at seeing me and just seeing how happy I'm looking. My energy has definitely started to come back and the tape is finally removed. It was irritating my skin a little bit underneath. It was the tape that went over the scarring on both sides. So I wasn't allowed to remove it until I saw her. I was like, can we please remove the tape now? And she goes, you do not touch those. Those boobies are mine. She's so funny. My scarring is surprisingly really good. As soon as she removed the tape, I got to have a look and I was like, wow, I'm now gonna show you some products in which they gave me. And I was using pre-op, maybe about a week out, just a wash to prep my skin and also a cream just to make sure it's hydrated before going in under the anesthetic. So the products are no Cori, I think that's how you pronounce it. They are all organic. They're from Australia, made in Bondi Beach. I'm really excited to be using local brands as well. You have the probiotic wash here. I used that pre-op and I'm also gonna use it post-op. And also the bioactive cream I used prior to give myself some hydration. I'm gonna use that post as well. And I'm also really excited to start using this scar balm. I also got another blood test yesterday. Uh, Dr. Naji just wanted to check the ANA antibodies again. So we're hoping that it is the in implants and I am going to return back to normal. It may be a little bit early as it's only been two and a half weeks, but she wants to give it a try. Otherwise, we'll do another blood test at the three month mark and the six month mark just to see if anything has gone down, including my growth hormone and my cortisol levels.
Hi, it's four weeks post-op. I'm feeling so much better compared to what I have been. I'm back on the south coast of New South Wales, down at Lake Conjola, at my dad's house. My brother and his family have been down, so I've been spending lots of time with them recovering. My neck and back pain is finally settling down. There's times when I don't even think about it anymore, apart from when I went to lift Dad's little Jack Russell dog up the other day. It's definitely heavier than two kilos. I was like, whoa, hang on a minute, can't do that. But today, no, it's so good. I've definitely been through a lot, getting the implants removed and having reconstructive surgery on my muscles. I had internal stitches to sew down my pec muscles. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer to heal. And not to mention my whole rib popping out situation. The pulsating feeling is also subsiding. The last few days I haven't really been thinking about it apart from laying down in bed but then I'll just put some meditation music on and I kind of just drift off. I'm looking on the brighter side now. I'm aiming to get back to Cairns this coming Tuesday. So that'll be good, back to the hot weather. Then I can just relax. I think I've got another two or three weeks off work. I don't want to go back too soon as I am a flight attendant and I don't want to do any lifting, pulling or pushing that I don't have to do. So I'm just going to take it easy and take the recommended time off. morning I'm back home to the beautiful Cairns overall I'm feeling 80% better physically and mentally I still have a long way to go it's only five and a half weeks post-op uh, the detox has only just begun I'm booked in to get my first lymphatic drainage massage tomorrow which I'm really excited for that's gonna help flush out all the toxins and settle down the rest of the inflammation in my body. I'm definitely in a more positive mindset than what I was. I've joined an online course so I'm now doing some manifesting and some journaling and I'm going to continue to track down my goals. From the 42 symptoms that I did have prior to my operation, majority of them have gone. I'm really excited to tell you all. So I'm sleeping better. My insomnia is gone. The tingling and burning sensation, that's gone. My crostochronchritis, that's gone. Heart palmitations, gone. Fatigue, gone. The rib pain that I was experiencing, that's gone. Panic attacks, gone. Night sweats, gone. Feeling like I'm dying, that's gone. Brain fog, gone. Feeling like I'm in flight or fight mode constantly with my adrenal issues that I was having, the electric sensation going through my body, the pulsating, all that settled down and gone. The chest pain's gone. I can actually feel like I can take a deep breath again. My ribs are able to expand more. Oh, it feels so much better. I'm going to continue to track my symptoms over the next few months. I do have another appointment with Dr. Naji in November at the three month mark and then another one at the six month mark. So I will make another video after my next appointment. If you do have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them the best I can. Please comment them below and I'll put them in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video.